Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit different than most of my uh, video blogs, uh, mainly because I'm going to do it all in one take. So, in other words, it's going to suck. Yeah, probably. Uh, so, I just got done finished uh, the campaign with uh, Medal of Honor, and I'd like to give you guys uh, my thoughts. Uh, maybe, okay, I guess you could call it my review of uh, the single player campaign. I won't be including multiplayer into this because I, I want to put much more time into it before I do any of that. Um, so, a single player only. Uh, I'm not going to take into account what other reviewers have said, I'm just going to give you guys my opinion. Um, let's get down to a numerical score, if that's what you guys are looking for. Uh, I'd probably go with a flat 9. Easy. Uh, could have potentially been higher in my books, uh, but uh, that's why I feel comfortable giving it. Um, and I'm going to explain that. So, the, the first, I'm going to compare it to other games out there, just because that's what everyone's doing. And I don't think they're doing it quite fairly, necessarily. Uh, the, the first uh, Modern Warfare had levels in that. When I finished the single player campaign, I wanted to go back and play those. I mean, there, there's one of the missions where you get dropped straight into a battlefield, and there's that bus in the field, and you have to escort that tank down those sides, that side street. Uh, I remember playing that over and over and over again, just because I got a hell of a kick out of just shooting through the walls and knowing where guys were, so I just had fun with that. Um, I'm a little sadistic at times, but uh, that's another story. Um, <laughs> when Modern Warfare 2 came out, uh, I finished that and moved straight on to the multiplayer. There was not a single section of that game that I really wanted to do again, or play again, or see again. Um, the the co-op I thought was great addition, I loved it. Uh, I did Platinum Modern Warfare 2, it's one of my only two Platinums. Um, and I had a ton of fun with the co-op maps. I probably, they were really reiterations of the single player maps, and I probably wouldn't have gone back and played those single player maps if it wasn't for uh, co-op. Um, I had a lot of fun with multiplayer, but eventually I gave up. Uh, the Battlefield uh, Bad Company campaigns I just wanted to end. Um, I'm not saying that they're bad, I just... Once I was done with it, I was like, alright, moving on. Um, the uh, Medal of Honor campaign, when I first started it, there were sections that I, I wanted to go back and do again. And uh, I was thinking, yeah, I was noticing prob like problems or uh, issues with the game, and I was thinking about an 8, maybe 8-5 eight, on a good day is what I would get hit, though, I mean, a decent score. Um, and it wasn't actually until uh, the Friends from Afar mission, which is the sniper mission, that the game f really came into its own. Uh, it floored me, and really from then on I was just in love, like I couldn't. I couldn't get past it. Um, that Friends and Far mission, actually, I, <laughs> I just finished the campaign, I went back and I played that mission three times in a row. It's the best sniper mission in any game I've ever played, period. It is just good. In fact, there's a tier one's uh, uh, challenges that you can go in and essentially you play through the single player uh, campaign levels and you try to do different challenges, whether it's getting the most headshots, or completing it within the fastest period of time, or um, accuracy, um, and you've, you post your scores and you compete against the community basically. I'm proud to announce that I am number two in accuracy on the uh, Friends from Afar mission, and that makes me feel really good. Um, I try to I try to get uh, first place, but the guy has 100 percent accuracy, so the best I can do is tie him, which I will try to do tonight anyway. Um, I missed a few careless shots, and that really pissed me off. But that being said, I, there's moments in that game that I want to go back and play. Uh, now, one of the things I've noticed is that it depends a lot on play style, like ridiculously more than most games. Um, Though you can play it multiple ways. I watched my wife actually play through the first level today, and she was 
it, it was almost fun to watch. She was very cautious, very careful or whatever. And I, I played it uh, much more aggressively, I guess. Uh, her play style worked though, and it worked really well. And it actually created a lot of tension for her. She actually, right when she finished the first level, she was like, oh, that was intense. She goes, to think that people have to go through stuff like that. And, she, and I was like, are you, are you, are you done? She goes, yeah, I want to play more later, but like, not now. And I was like, okay. And I went and finished the campaign. Um, but there's sections of the game that I, I think that if she continues to play that way, will give her a lot of trouble. Uh, it could actually be frustrating. I'd recommend actually watching the uh, Metal of Honor experience videos and watching how the guy demoing the game plays it because I tend to play in a similar playstyle and it works really well. Uh, I think that it's a similar thing that what I come, came across with uh, Portal in that there were a few puzzles that I've watched people in Portal attempt that they just couldn't grasp. And I had to actually tell them in order for them to, to, to get it. And it would have gotten completely frustrating. They probably would have just put the game down and left and never came back to it again. And the reason that I understood is I watched a lot of the development videos. And so I, there are concepts that you could do things in that game that they just didn't grasp. Like the you know moment, momentum being conserved between portals and stuff. Um, I consider this game to be really similar to that. Uh, I use the slide into cover me mechanic like crazy. It's the best, that in, alone to me is the best addition to first person shooters I've seen in a uh, few years. It, as far as just a new innovation brought into the genre, I want every game I play to have that. And the fact that there is technically a cover system but you're never stuck to cover is fantastic. Uh, that was actually the feature that my wife used the most. She's leaning out of everything. And I'm like, well, you can step out if you want to. She goes, no, 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 I don't know if that guy's still there yet. Uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, the campaign alone is great fun. I recommend anyone to go out and at least try it. Um, I do actually want to say that I stress that you get it on either PC or PS3. Uh, I haven't tried it on PC yet, but I, from the videos I've seen, it looks at least better. Um, we can, did a direct comparison of the PS3 and 360 versions on, uh, at, at Blockbuster when we did the launch, and one of the things that I noticed is, though, and I don't want to trust, I wouldn't trust like screenshots and stuff like that because there's still images, but like in the actual playing of the game, the PS3 shined and uh, we saw some uh, frame rate issues, much more graphical glitches popping up uh, more frequently on the 360 version, and had a few cases where I've read some reviews that, that I want to mention cases where the game would actually glitch to a point where you had to restart at a checkpoint, uh, and the game wouldn't freeze, it would just do something weird, you wouldn't be able to pass through the next section unless you just restarted. Um, that happened several times on the uh, 360 versions when people were playing it, but I never experienced it on the PS3 version when I went through at least, in my playthrough. Um, so I do think, I mean that's the lead development console, so it makes sense that you're going to get a better quality product out of it. I think, though as far as glitches are concerned, that's all stuff that will be patched, so it's not really a worry if you have one version or the other, I think they're going to address that. Um, but all I'd say is don't read too much into what you read online or reviews. Uh, go out, try it, I mean, just rent it, crying out. If you like it, then great, maybe you want to buy it later when it's discounted slightly. If you don't, then great, you can just say, okay, forget about it. And uh, don't worry too much about the online pass thing, it's really just about uh, extra content. So you can still rent it and play online, I have no idea why I've seen that in forums. In fact, I didn't even enter my uh, EA Online Pass code until today, uh, this afternoon after I got home from work. And the only thing, thing it did was give me a shotgun and a, a submachine gun, which you can actually get, I believe, by leveling up. <laughs> so, yeah.
just uh, go out, try it. Uh, if, if you're interested, don't go out and try it if you hate shooters or you don't like modern day shooters or something like that. Um, the I will mention one last thing, and that is the sound design is some of the best sound design I've seen in the game in a long time. Turn it up, uh, listen to the dialogue. Uh, the chatter that you get on the helicopter level is completely authentic and just really cool, even though you probably don't know what the hell they're saying, which is great. But uh, the bullet impact, the sound that you get from every gun uh, feels like it has weight, uh, very realistic uh, weapon sounds, uh, as well as the, the impact on um, the the impact alone, the impact sound alone from the, the sniper rifles is just incredible. Um, and I do like that there's a difference really between a high caliber rifle in that game and a sniper rifle, and they play very differently. Um, and you only really use the sniper rifle in two sections of the game. Uh, the rest of the time you're really just using a scoped rifle, which plays the way it should. Uh, you can carry it around, you can fire, uh, you know, while moving with it. Um, but it's not a high caliber sniper rifle. Um, so yeah, that's my take on Medal of Honor, at least for right now. So I hope you guys like that, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. I'll be in, looks like I'll be in Costa Rica uh, for the next week or so. So uh, expect a lot of video vlogs because I'm gonna have absolutely nothing to do without my consoles and uh, without my family. So have fun, guys.